Hello and welcome to our channel. In today's class, we are going to learn about heat belts. So in the previous classes related to this chapter, you have already learned about the composition, structure of atmosphere and the different process by which the atmosphere gets heated up, including the process like radiation, conduction, convection, latent heat and so on. So in today's class, we are going to learn about how the earth is divided into different heat zones on the basis of the heat it receives from the sun. So on the basis of the amount of heat the earth receives from the sun, the earth is divided into five heat zones. Torrid zone, north temperate zone, south temperate zone, north frigid zone and south frigid zone. So these are the five temperate zones or the heat belts that the earth is divided into owing to the difference in the heat the earth receives. As we all know that the shape of earth is sphere, it is not flat. So owing to the curvature of the earth or the sphere shape, round shape of the earth, the amount of heat that earth receives from the sun is not equally distributed. So some parts of earth is very hot whereas some parts are very cold. Like for example, poles are the coldest part of the earth. Why? Because it receives oblique or the slanting rays of the sun. Whereas the area which lies between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn, this area is the hottest area of the world. Why? Because this area receives direct or the vertical rays of the sun. And we all know that vertical rays are hotter as compared to slanting or oblique rays. Because vertical rays heats up small area and it heats up the area more rapidly as compared to the slanting rays. So here we can see the polar regions get slanting rays of the sun. And these rays are covering greater distance as compared to the rays which are striking at or near the equator. So near the equator, the sun rays are direct and vertical. And it is also covering a very short distance as compared to the rays which are striking at the poles. They are oblique, slanting and also they are covering larger area. So that is why the areas, this area which receive direct rays of the sun are hotter as compared to the polar regions which receive oblique or slanting rays of the sun. On the basis of difference in temperature, the earth is divided into five heat zones. One torrid zone, two temperate zones and two frigid zone. Torrid zone lies between Tropic of Cancer 23 and half degree north and Tropic of Capricorn 23 and half degree south. This zone is also known as the hot zone or the hot belt because this zone experiences highest temperature as it gets the vertical or direct rays of the sun. The average temperature is 25 degrees Celsius to minus 30 degree Celsius. Next is temperate zone. We have two temperate zones, north temperate zone and south temperate zone. North temperate zone lies between Tropic of Cancer 23 and half degree north and Arctic Circle 66 and half degree north. The shaded portion shows your uh, north temperate zone. North temperate zone has a pleasant temperature as it lies far from equator. The temperature is moderate. Next, south temperate zone. South temperate zone lies between Tropic of Capricorn, 23 and half degree south, and Antarctic Circle, 66 and half degree south. This area. I have given similar shades for the same zone. These two shaded portions shows temperate zone. Some of the places which lies in the north temperate zone are Great Britain, Europe, uh, northern part of Asia. And some of the places which lies in the south temperate zone are 
न्यूजीलैंड साउदर्न पार्ट ऑफ एशिया द एवरेज टेम्परेचर ऑफ टेम्परेट जोन इज टेन डिग्री सेल्सियस टू माइनस टेन डिग्री सेल्सियस हेंस इट इज द एरिया ऑफ प्लेजेंट टेम्परेचर and the last one is frigid zone there are two frigid zones north frigid zone and south frigid zone north frigid zone lies above arctic circle 66 and 1/2 degree north that is towards the north pole and south frigid zone lies below antarctic circle 66 and 1/2 degree south that is towards the south pole as the name indicates frigid zone is the coldest zone of the world as it receives oblique rays from the sun the temperature of the poles or temperature of the north and south frigid zones are very less it remains frozen throughout the year the average temp and the average temperature is 10 degree celsius to minus 40 degree celsius so today's class we learned about heat belts there are five heat belts torrid zone not temperate zone south temperate zone north frigid zone and south frigid zone